How's it going guys? Today probably isn't going to be too much of a video of working on the van or whatever. I'm kind of going for a little bit of an explore. Not really exploring, but I'm driving down to uh, Abbotsford area and I'm going to help my buddy move out today and he's moving to Kelowna to the house where I'm actually staying at with my van. And they don't honestly even need my help, they told me that. And I kind of want to go just so I can get out and go explore a little bit and see some beautiful views. Oh my gosh, like this one. Uh, hopefully, maybe something exciting will happen today because yesterday was my birthday. I'm officially 28. Nothing super exciting happened. I went for a nice uh, little walk, a little hike. And then my friends that I'm staying at actually uh, bought some pizza and then they bought me a cake, <laughs> which is awesome. They sang happy birthday and stuff. I mean, a cake and champagne. Never popped a champagne bottle before. I popped a champagne bottle and yeah, it was pretty awesome. Had some champagne, had a little to drink. It was a pretty good night, honestly. It was, it was really awesome to do that. And thank you guys for doing that. I really appreciate it. You're awesome. Anyways. We'll see you guys in a, in a little bit. We're gonna get up to something today and hopefully we, like I said, hopefully something exciting happens and hopefully we, or maybe we'll go see some beautiful things or something like that. I don't know. I'm gonna stop rambling. Bye bye. Perfect. Yo, that's so perfect. Well, we're in Abbotsford and we just stopped to get gas. We're on the way back to Kelowna. Our buddy Brett is moving in there. And yeah, so, <clears throat> sorry, I'm distracted because I am driving. I need to speak that hard. Yes, because I'm driving. Oh, fuck, everything falls off my dash all the time. All right, but yeah, we're on the way back to uh, Kelowna. Didn't really do too much today, but man, driving is like my therapy. Like literally, throttle therapy, it's a real thing. Like driving is like the best way to make me feel like myself again because I sit there and I think and I just feel good and like see all these amazing things now that I'm in BC when I'm driving around. It's just amazing and I love it, so yeah. I don't know what else to say. We'll see you guys in the next, wherever the fuck. Figured I'd do just a quick little video here. This video isn't gonna be anything travel related or really even working on the van. I just wanna show you something. I wanna show you my shower setup because I've been seeing a lot of videos recently in a lot of these van life places, uh, van life um, channels. And don't get me wrong, I love you all. I absolutely love you all. But a lot of you talk about cheap shower systems and it's still a $600 system, it's still a $700 system, it's still super expensive to get these systems, especially after shipping and stuff like that. So it's still a super expensive system. So here is something, like I haven't really seen anybody post a video of their embarrassingly cheap ghetto shower. You don't really, like we freaking, we poop in buckets, you know, like van lifers, people poop in buckets. So like having an embarrassing type shower um, shouldn't be a big deal. So anyways, I'm going to show you my shower system, which honestly, it's very cheap, but it's very effective and it works amazingly. So here we go from the start. So <clears throat> there's this 12 volt pump. I got this from Princess Auto uh, in the States. I don't know exactly, uh, maybe Harbor Freight or something like that would be a comparison type store. But I got this from Princess Auto 
and this is just a pump that pretty much sucks from my water source in the van or from a river or a stream or anything I want. It'll suck right from there. Plugs into my battery, clips onto my battery with an on off switch. I'll be wiring this into my switches so I'll have a switch before this switch to turn it on. So pretty much it comes out of this pump, comes down here, and this was like 30 or $40 by the way. So we're at 30, 40 bucks. Come to this thing, this was $80 on Amazon, okay? This is an instant hot water heater and this thing works great. The only downside is it sucks 3000 watts of power. So I need to use my generator for it because I don't have that type of power on my van and most house breakers even don't have 3000 watts. I tried it on a couple of house breakers and I believe they were 1500 watts so they ended up blowing as it was starting to get warm. So the only thing it really works on is my generator which is fine with me. <laughs> so it's still a hot shower in the woods. So it comes to here and then comes around to my shower head. And my shower head has an on off switch. So when I turn it off, this, because the pressure stops running through, actually shuts the water heater off. So it doesn't burn up anything. And this has uh, a PSI setting. So this will stop pumping at a certain PSI as well. Um, so everything stops as soon as I flick this switch, this one switch right here, everything stops. Um, all of this, I got this on Amazon. This was a 20 bucks. This was 80 bucks. This was about 40 bucks. So we're at about $140 for that. And this is the part where it's a little bit better. So I was going to build a big, beautiful shower in this van. Um, I wanted to build the van of my dreams. I wanted to have this ugly van with beautiful modern inside. But I realized how much that is. <laughs> like, I didn't think it was going to be that expensive to build a van, but it's very expensive to build a van because there's lots of waste wood because of the bends and stuff like that. And you got to use a lot of wood. So I decided to go the cheap way, like I always do with things. Function over form. It doesn't need to be nice. I'm the only one living here. It doesn't need to be beautiful. So this is what I'm doing. As you can see, I built up. I'm going to take this out of here. I built up this wall because this is where the shower was gonna be. I can stand right up in here. This is six feet tall, I'm 5'10", or 5'10 and a half, 5'11". So this, I can stand right up in here perfectly. I was gonna build tiling and everything all around this, but I decided to go this way. Oh. oh. I still gotta clean that out, but this is gonna be my shower tray. I'm pretty much gonna have shower curtains, that come all the way around me type of thing on a shower bar and all stay inside of the bucket. And when I shower, the water will just come into the bucket. I might put a drain so I can just drain it without having to lift it out of the van and put it on a hose and drain it off wherever because it's, it's just gonna be shower water. It's not like it's gonna be gross and dirty. So I can drain it pretty much wherever I need. So I'll probably put a drain on it so I don't need to drag the bucket out to, to drain it every time, at least. That might be the one thing I do, but this is far big enough for me to stand in to shower. Yes, I know it's gross. I need to clean it out. It's sitting outside for a bit. This is far big enough for me to shower. So, yeah, I'm like I said, it might be a little bit ghetto. I'm going to be showering in a bucket, but people poop in buckets, and we don't say anything about that, so that's okay. So I'm going to be showering in this bucket. It's going to have shower curtains all around. Just envision the shower curtains coming down, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be pretty decent. My water heater will be in here. My water jug is right there underneath the diesel heater so and this is where the hose comes so it'll connect to my to the pump which will drag from the water container to the instant hot water heater to my shower head and i'll be able to shower inside anywhere i go or the shower head will be here and i can just have a shower outside if i'm in the middle of the woods but if I want to, if I'm in a Walmart parking lot or if I'm on a street somewhere, I can shower in the privacy of my own home wherever I want, wherever I want. I can be up in the mountains having a hot shower, okay? So this is, like I said, like it might be a little bit ghetto in some eyes, but to me, this is exactly what I wanted. I want to just be able to live fully off grid in my movable home and be able to shower and go to the bathroom and everything inside without having to go find a bathroom or go to the gym or use my friend's house or whatever kind of thing. I want to be fully sustainable by myself. So this obviously, like I said, this is probably just 
well, not probably. This is just going to be a temporary uh, shower for now, but I just want something so I can get kind of on the road and start doing my thing. Um, I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna build this van out properly or if it will be this van I build out. We'll see how this van is. I don't wanna dump a whole bunch of money into this van and then it ended up, end up being a total turd or something, you know? So I'm just doing everything kind of the cheap way right now and we'll decide if it's worth or not to build the inside of this thing. If this van is really good to me, then heck yeah, I'll build the inside of this thing like I always dreamed to once I have money. But for right now, I'm just gonna try and save the money that I was gonna spend into the shower because I'm slowly running out of money. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is gonna be my shower. So if anyone has any questions about anything, I know it's a pretty basic kind of video, but I just wanna show you guys that you don't need a fancy sprinter van, you don't need a fancy $30,000, $40,000 um, Ford or Dodge or um, Chevy van to get out into the woods and be able to shower and just live as a home. You don't need to spend that much money. I bought this thing for $2,200 and I put maybe $1,000 into it, maybe, maybe $1,500 into it. So I'm into this thing for about four grand, let's say about four or five grand even. And I have everything I need in here. Here's my e-bike and my trailer. I'm not gonna do a full walk around right now. That'll be for another day. But it's it's coming together. It's honestly starting to feel a little bit like home. And now that my shower is coming together and it's gonna be in, it's gonna feel a lot more like home. Like I said, I just wanted to give a video out there so people can have a different idea of how to do a shower system this one is a little bit more hands-on it's not just a you know buy plug and play type product but it is a pretty simple thing to figure out and do if you want to save like hundreds and hundreds of dollars on your shower system for your van or your vehicle and it doesn't need to all be out in a mess you could have this hiding behind a cupboard and then this coming out just to your shower and all of this could be hidden away but i'm just going to do it the cheap way and the easy way, because I like easy access to everything in case things do break. So, anyways guys, thank you for sticking along. I'm going to install this into the van right now. And yeah, have a hot shower maybe. We'll see. <laughs>